Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back. Today we want to talk about what is a landing page and how to create high converting landing pages for your business. Now, the reason we want to talk about this is because there's a lot of businesses that invest a whole bunch of money into paid advertising like Facebook and Google ads, and they do not see a positive ROI, return on investment or return on ad spend, ROAS. Now, this is because of many reasons, but a main reason that this happens, you know, you don't see a positive return is because of the landing pages. Their website landing pages are crappy. You know, you're driving paid traffic to your website, but they're not converting. And the reason they're not converting most likely is because of your landing page. It's just not effective, it's not optimized, and it's not converting. So that's why I wanna talk about what is a landing page and how to create high converting landing pages for your business. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in learning more about how to help your business thrive online, then feel free to subscribe to this channel, tap the bell icon, and that way you'll be notified when we upload new and practical videos. All right, with that being said, let's dive into it. So, what is a landing page? Well, a landing page is basically a web page that's designed with a single focus objective, also known as a call to action or CTA. Now, these landing pages are designed for paid traffic. So what is a call to action, CTA? Well, basically think of your business, think of your landing page on your website, what do you want people to do or what do you want to achieve when visitors land on your web page or your landing page? Is it to generate a lead? Is it to generate a sale? Or is it just to collect their contact information so you can follow up via email with your email marketing activities? So what is the objective of your landing page? That's the first thing you need to work out. Now with landing pages, there's really two main ones that people build. The first one is a lead generating landing page and the second is a click through landing page. Now the lead generation landing page is great for small uh, local businesses or small businesses that provide services. And what you wanna do is essentially click their email information, their phone number, so that you can follow up and turn that into a sale. Or maybe you want them to land on your landing page, your visitors, and you want them to click, um, maybe fill out a form, it could be a booking form, or maybe you want them to click on your phone number and call your business so that you can turn that into a sale. So that's the uh, lead generation landing page. The second one is a click-through landing page. Now this is great for small businesses that sell services online or uh, products online. So for example, if you're an e-commerce, maybe you've got a Shopify store um, and you sell products, just to keep this, um, uh, this example simple, um, what you want people to do is visit your page, land on this landing page, and you want them to buy from you. So you wanna have a simple streamlined landing page that guides them in the direction of a sale. So those are the two types of landing pages. You've got lead generation landing page if you're a local or small business selling services, maybe in a geographical location. Then you've got um, a click through landing page, which is mainly for individuals or businesses that sell services or products online. So those are the two types of landing pages you want to invest in. Now you're probably wondering how do you create high converting landing pages for your business? Well that's a good question. How do you convert visitors into customers? You know, how do you create high converting landing pages? Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover five tips that you can implement straight away to increase your conversion rate to create high quality, high converting landing pages. The first thing you want to do is understand your single focus objective. You know, what is the purpose of your landing page? What do you want to receive from your visitor once they land on the landing page? Do you want them to call your business? Do you want them to enter their email information, their contact information? Or do you want them to buy a product or service on that page? You need to identify what your single focus objective is and then build the page around that. The second tip is to keep it simple and streamlined. You don't want visitors to get confused once they land on the page and you don't want them to click anywhere else. You want them to follow through with your CTA, your call to action, your single focus objective. So with that being said, what you wanna do is make sure there's minimal links on that landing page. You don't want them to jump over to the home page, to the about us page, to the other products. You want them to just fill out the information or you want them to call your business. You want them to click that call to action. You want them to actually do what the landing page is supposed to do. So minimize the links. You know, it's not a home page. A home page has many links to different pages. Your landing page has a single 
focus objective. So you want one or two, if you need two links to other pages, then do that. But you want to keep it very streamlined and simple. The other thing is you want to keep your colors streamlined. So you want to pick three colors that resonate throughout your entire website, but especially for your landing page, you don't want there to be uh, colors everywhere, different colors. You don't want to introduce new colors into the theme or into the landing page. Stick to three main colors that complement each other that make your landing page look attractive. The third tip is similar to the first one and that's focusing on your call to action. You want to highlight that call to action or make sure that it's obvious on your landing page. You know, is it to receive their email information for them to opt into this form? Or do you want them to watch the video then opt into this form? So what you want to do is make it incredibly obvious. Highlight the button that they need to click to, you know, get their free PDF or to watch the next, the this video that's going to help your business succeed. Whatever the call to action is, make sure that it's obvious and it's right there on the page that people see as soon as they land on that landing page from that paid traffic source. The fourth tip is using social proof. Now, what do I mean by social proof? Well, that can come in the form of testimonies, uh, reviews. It could be Google reviews. It could be video reviews. It could be written reviews on your website, but you want them to be on your landing page. This is to help your visitors become customers. You know, sometimes they get hesitant and they don't have the belief in the product or service that you're providing and they need that social proof. They need to see that other customers are having a fantastic experience with your product or service. So social proof is extremely powerful when used right and especially if you add it to your landing page, it's going to increase your conversion rates. The fifth and final tip is to reflect and review on your landing page. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, what you want to do is once you've completed your landing page is you want to take a step back and look at your landing page and see if, look, does this convert? Is this compelling for me? Look at it and see if you can criticize your own landing page. If you can, then there's changes you need to make. Now, not only this, but you need to send your landing page to friends and family and get advice from them, get feedback from them. Let them reflect and review on your landing page. You know, is the other images crap quality? Um, is the text hard to read? Are the fonts too big? You know, what, what's wrong with the landing page? Do they not actually know where to click? Uh, you know, find these, these issues with your landing page and correct them and then reflect and review again. And you must keep doing this until you've got your perfect landing page that has no criticism, just positive comments from friends and family and yourself. And there you have it guys, you should now know what a landing page is and how to create high converting landing pages for your business. Now what I want you to do before you disappear is leave a comment down below of your landing page if you want some advice and tips on your recently created or old landing page. I'll read all the comments and I'll get back to everyone and hopefully give you some value and some advice on how to improve your landing pages. All right, that being said guys, make sure you like this video, uh, leave that comment down below and subscribe to this channel and we will see you in the next video.